We begin with the story of freedom after a long prison nightmare. A 29-year-old Missouri man sentenced to 40 years behind bars is finally back with his family this morning. Ryan Ferguson spent nearly a decade trying to prove he is an innocent man. He celebrated his release last night with a steak and a beer. A state appeals court overturned Ferguson's murder conviction last week. Now Missouri's attorney general says he will not retry the case. Ryan Ferguson and his father join us in a moment. But first, 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty is here. Her eight years of original reporting uncovered many of the gaps in this case. Erin, good morning to you. Well, it is a good morning. When the state appointed a special prosecutor to handle this case last Friday, most people expected it would take months to resolve Ryan Ferguson's fate. It took just four days. <laughs> it was finally over. Last night, a smiling Ryan Ferguson appeared before supporters in the press. No longer in handcuffs or his prison issue jumpsuit. He first thanked his parents, Bill and Leslie Ferguson. They are the absolute most amazing parents people, you know, you could ever have. Without them, you know, I wouldn't have had any hope. Guilty of murder in the second degree. Ferguson was convicted in 2005 of killing Kent Heitholt, a popular newspaper sports editor. While there was plenty of physical evidence at the scene, none of it matched Ferguson. He was convicted on the word of two witnesses. One was Charles Erickson, a high school classmate who claimed they killed Heitholt in a late night robbery. The other, a janitor who said he saw Ferguson at the crime scene. Both men later admitted they lied at trial. Surprisingly, Ferguson says he holds no grudges against his former friend. He was used and manipulated and uh, I kind of feel sorry for the guy. Alongside Ferguson was his attorney, Kathleen Zellner, who took his case pro bono after seeing a report on 48 Hours. He's so worth the effort of, of what we did, what his parents did. He's just an amazing, amazing person. Last week, the appellate court ruled that prosecutors concealed evidence from Ferguson's defense and that he didn't get a fair trial. Ryan Ferguson is now looking forward to the little things. I, I kind of want some Dairy Queen. <laughs> Making up for lost time with his big sister and the rest of his family. <laughs> and catching up with good friends. And of course, my beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> The state announced yesterday that it would not retry him at this time. What that means is that the state could bring charges at a future time if new evidence surfaced. But there's far more evidence pointing to other suspects than Ferguson.